comup presents logical PLC functions OR and XOR RS. Logical function OR is a logical sum. Inputs and output are binary. In comup controllers, can has from 2 to 8 inputs. Output is active when at least one input is active. In table of combinations, you can see that at least one active input cause active output. Logical function AND is a logical product. Inputs and output are binary. In COMAP controllers, can has from 2 to 8 inputs. Output is active when all inputs are active. In table of combinations, you can see that just all active inputs cause active output. Logical function XOR is exclusive disjunction or exclusive OR. Inputs and output are binary. In COMAP controllers, has two inputs. Output is active when exactly one of inputs is active. In table of combinations, you can see that exactly one active input cause active output. Logical function RS is type of flip-flop circuit. Inputs and output are binary. In COMAP controllers has two inputs and one output. Input S set output to logical 1. Input R reset output set logical 0. If inputs S and R are in logical 0, output is in same state as one step before. It remembers what was before. If inputs S and R are in logical 1, it is undefined state. Please don't use it this state. In table of combinations, you can see what cause every input and their combinations. Number of functions. In COMAP controllers, has two logical function blocks, logical function 1 and logical function 2. In this table you can see how many logical functions are available in each COMAP controls. All details about PLC functions you can see in IGSNT application guide, which you can download from COMAP website. Now we use this function in example. Let's have an application where there are two binary pressure sensors, binary input sensor A and sensor B, but the value of only one of them is needed to take to the output. These sensors can be switched by binary input switch AB. If binary input switch AB is closed, then the used signal from sensor A. If binary input switch AB is open, then the used signal from sensor B. System remember if output was active. This state will be reset by binary input reset. Now we have two binary signals from sensor A and sensor B. And we have a binary switch AB which switches between signal from sensor A and sensor B. If sensor A will be active and switch AB will be active too, then in the output will be signal from sensor A. If sensor A will be non-active, the output will be zero. If we switch AB to zero, then in the output will be signal from sensor B. In other part, we add flip-flop circuit. So if the signal will be active, present state and remember state will be active too. If the signal will be zero, the flip-flop circuit remember the state before. In last part, we add a signal reset and use function XOR and AND because we don't get the undefined state of flip-flop circuit. Signal reset will be active in flip-flop circuit only in case when the signal set will be non-active. Now I show you how you can create this site 
in Gen config. In cut input and output, we define four binary inputs from sensor A, sensor B, switch AB and reset. Now we switch to PLC editor. In PLC editor, we add a function end. In function end, we define a binary input 1 as a signal from sensor A and define a second binary input as a signal from switch AB. Set a function end and click OK. Then add a second function end. Defined as a first binary input as a signal from sensor B and second binary input as a signal from switch AB. Signal from switch AB be set to invert it and set to end and click OK. Now we add a function OR. Default is function end and we switch to function OR. Now we connect binary input function OR with binary output function end. First one and second. Now we define binary output OR as our first binary output as a present state. Then we add other function and set it as a RS. Our RS circuit. We connect binary input S with binary output function OR and define binary output RS as our binary output remember state. Now we add function XOR and connect binary input function XOR with binary output function OR and set a second binary input function XOR with binary signal reset. Then we add a last function, logical function end. Connect binary input function end with binary output function XOR and set a second binary input function end with signal reset. In last step, we connect binary output function end with binary input R of block RS. Now we have all our site. In last step, we set binary output. We come back to cut input and output and set a binary output 9 as a, our present state and set a binary output 10 as a, our remember state. Now we come back to PLC editor. We can check it as it's defined with binary output 9 and binary output 10. And check it PLC consistency. That's OK. So we can write it to controller. That's all from me about PLC logical function in ComUp controllers. Thanks for watching.